Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma Chef from Everything Digital and here on this channel I talk about digital products making money online and business finance. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Today I am going to show you how to make this planner design in Canva. I really like Canva because it's a platform that is very user friendly and you can create a big variety of designs only using their um, elements library. Of course you can also use the free version of Canva but today I am going to use the pro version. I will leave a link down below if you would like to try out Canva Pro 30 days for free. In a previous video I already talked about how to create the mockups for these uh, planners or other kinds of digital products. I will leave the link down below in the description. But now let's create the digital product itself that we are going to sell on Etsy or your own website. So without any further ado, let's make this planner template in Canva. So here we are in my Canva starting page and we are going to start from scratch. We are going to do everything from zero with this planner. And um, I am going to show you two ways. The first one is when we create everything from scratch. It will be a very simple daily planner. And the other version that we are going to do is very easy using the features of Canva Pro that are already built in. Uh, that will uh, make your life much easier and you can make your designs or your teams uh, much faster with this method. But first we are going to do everything from scratch. The site that I'm going to work with today is US letter size, so let's create a new document. Here in the upper right hand corner just click on the create design button. And we are going to type in a letter size, US letter. You can also do A4, A5 or just you can resize them later, that's not a big deal at this moment. Here we have our fresh page. First, that I'm, first thing that I'm going to do is add a title or a header to this page. And I'm going to do that by adding a text field. And we are going to add the heading and we are going to call this daily planner. And let's select a cute font. Usually I like to select two fonts, one or two, it depends on the design. But more than two fonts makes your page too busy, so I like to stick with two fonts and a maximum of three colors or three shades of the same color. So that's what we are going to do today. So here we have our title. For today's design I would like to select a script type font for the header and for the main uh, headlines. And let's select this one because this is one of my favorite. Of course, this is just an example, you can put your own twist on it if you would like, but uh, this is one of my favorite fonts, so I will use it. I have four or five go-to fonts that I always use, so you will see it repeating in, on my designs. But uh, yes, if you find something that you really like and it works, then you can just stick with it. So the next uh, thing that we need to do is to add the daily section where people can write in their daily tasks. So we will do uh, let's say my week, we will make it smaller, mm, but for this I'm going to select my one of my other favorite fonts and that would be Payfair Display or maybe Times New Roman, it depends, and let's do with Payfair Let's stick with Playfair Display and make it even smaller. So let's leave some margin too and on the top too. So like that. And now we are going to select the rectangle this. So now we are going to select this element and we are going to create seven shapes. So this is one, two. I'm just using uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V or, or Command C, Command B, depending on your computer that you are using. We have four, five, six, 
six and seven. Okay, now let's make them a little bigger, something like that. And let's change the color because this gray is too dark. So let's try a light gray, but let's find something more fun. Let's do a light pink shade, because I'm a girl, you know. Fun fact, I used to hate the color pink and all kinds of shades of pink. Um, today too, I hate the very bright neon pinks, but um, some other pink shades are quite... But I quite like some softer pink shades. But back in the days, I hated pink. But today, I am okay with it. And I think it looks good. On Not for everything, but uh, for the right occasion, it looks good. So now, let's add another column. Undo. So I will copy this element. And let's see here now, this is our other section. And let's say... Uh, Reminders. Reminders or don't forget or or let's say important, that's a better word. And I feel like I need to make this smaller. So what I'm going to do now is select this line And I will also create quite a few of these because this is just a list area where people can list their important tasks for that week. And let's now copy all three and duplicate all three. And voila! Let's add three more. Okay, and let's add another section that will say... What should it say? Hmm? Oh, sorry. It's my bad. I wanted to do a weekly planner. We can also do a daily one, so I'm going to duplicate this page. And I will show you how to create a daily one. But this is the weekly layout. Duh! So, my week. And uh, let's also add something fun here. Let's say weekend plans. And let's add two more boxes and we will resize them. That's that. So now what I would like to do is add the, the days of the week. So Monday. And let's do it like to the right. And let's make it smaller. Okay, zoom in. And I'm going to add it to each and every square. Or rectangle or whatever this is. Let's rename this section and let's say don't forget. Or whatever comes to your mind, you can put anything on these designs. So now let's do the daily ones and let's scrap this, but not everything, because I want to keep a similar style and a similar layout to these. But because this is a daily planner, so we will say here my day, the. Uh, and we will leave three of these boxes right here and we will move them to the side for now. I'm going to group them so that I don't have to move every item individually and I'm going to 
but I don't mm, group. I want to keep this here, and I will move these, and I'm going to duplicate them because I need more space for it. Just like that. And now instead of the days of the week, we are going to list the hours. You can uh, think of it like from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. or whatever your layout gives you. For now, I am going to do from 7 a.m. whatever we can fit into these uh, sections. I have to move everything more to the towards the center so that we can keep the margins. last two and now let's space it out a little bit for uh, even more okay something like that I like that and here we are going to put the meals that they have that and here we are going to put a meal planner breakfast, lunch and dinner and I'm going to add two more sections and I'm going to add to these two more sections one is going to be uh, today's top three priorities and another section for um, some kind of a small gratitude journal. So I'm going to use these lines again or no? I'm going to use some something interesting. Let's see all of the lines and shapes that we are working with. No, I, I prefer these ones. And I will, of course, make them pink. So that would be the daily planner designs and I want to add something and I want to add some other visual elements so that it's not that boring so I'm going to search for a watercolor uh, smear or something like that. Let's select this one. I'm going to turn it like this. Make it bigger into the background and let's take down the opacity so that it's not that obvious that it's there and I'm going to lock it. And let's add it to this page as well. Mm -hmm. 
send it to the background of course and lock it again oh yeah that's how I would create a daily and a weekly planner in Canva as I promised at the beginning of the video I will show you how to use Canva Pro features to speed up this process so you don't have to create every layout by hand like this so I'm going to duplicate this page and I will show you how to use Canva's Pro features so we are going to go to the templates tab here on the left hand side as you can see a bunch of uh, already made Canva templates came up now you cannot use these templates as they are you can use the structure and the elements from them but you have to create but you have to make the design your own you cannot resell the items like they are here at the, as the templates so what we are going to do is to apply the style of those pre-made templates and then we will make it our own so let's find a cute one I like this I will add it as a new page so no problem and we are going to check out the elements that we have here we have a table and some text so I'm going to delete the background because I don't like it and I'm going to delete these frame elements as well because I don't like them I'm going to add back the pink wash and I'm going to lock it so as you can see it uh, looks much better uh, in my opinion at least okay I sent it to the back and locked it now I'm going to delete that one too now we change the font as you can see I'm using only the structure I'm using only the structure of this template and I'm making it my own with my fonts and my colors and some other elements meeting attendance yes here we are going to change the color to that cute pink one and that's how you use canvas pro features so that you will save a bunch of time you just use these templates and change the text, fonts, styles, colors and voila you have a new design that you can sell in your Etsy shop or on your own website and voila we are ready that was it for today's video thank you very much for watching Leave a comment down below and tell me what kind of digital products you want to create or you already created and started selling in your digital products shop thank you very much for watching today's video please give it a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which i talk about digital products making money online and business finance see you in the next one bye bye